Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy. Today is October 23rd and I want to cover some brand new features that's been popping up within the last one or two weeks inside of Goodlock. And the reason why I want to cover these now is because in a few days we'll actually see an overhaul or an update when it comes down to Goodlock. So Goodlock will have a pretty large update. Several of their modules will have brand new features and that's why I want to cover the new features that's happening right now today. And then I'll come back in a few days to show you everything that's new with that update. And for reference, this version of Goodlock is 2.2.04.75. Now, if you're wondering what Goodlock is, Goodlock is an application that's made by Samsung for Samsung devices. And inside of this one application is an entire suite of several different modules to fully customize your entire phone. Now, this one is region locked. So if you go inside of the Galaxy Store and you search for Goodlock and you don't find it, that just means that you are region locked. Usually, if you're inside of the United States and several other countries, you will be able to find Goodlock. If you want to, you still can use VPNs, put your location somewhere else and get it downloaded, but I'm not going to cover that in today's video. So I'm going to cover five of these different modules that has had updates within the last week, two weeks, or even just today. So the first module that we'll talk about will be the One Hand Operation Plus, and the reason being is because this one was updated today. Now, if you scroll down, you can see when it was updated, which it states today's date, October 23rd. And then on the very top up here, you can see what is new. So they added support for split pop-up view on Quick Launcher, which is for Samsung One UI 6. They removed hide handle feature, bug fixes, stability improvements, and this is the one that we're gonna talk about and I'll show off here, which is add recent apps on Quick Launcher. Now, what you're able to do here is because I use gestures, I can swipe on the left or right and go back. You can actually add more actions to it. So when you turn this one on, this is the area that you can actually customize if you wanted to change the position. So far, I have mine on low. You can create how, how much size you want, the touch width. But up here, if you go to the right handle, and I'm just gonna show the right handle because that's how I have it set up. I'm right-handed, I use my right thumb. So if I swipe left, basically a straight line, it's just gonna go back. But if I do a diagonal down, it's gonna open up this quick launcher. And you also have the option to have your recent apps right here that you can open up pretty quick. So let's say that you do the diagonal down. On the very bottom of this entire full list is where you have the option for a quick launcher. And this is where you go inside of settings. And so this is what we wanna talk about for the first module. So you have the option for show recent apps. And you can also open apps without tapping. So I don't know if you played with One Hand Operation Plus before. If you've never have, I definitely play with it. See if this is something you like better than the regular stock gestures. But it's pretty fun. You can actually swipe down like this. Here's your recent apps. And then here is a few other applications that you can actually open up. This is your quick launcher. It's basically giving you options of applications that you use on a daily basis quite often. Now you can have it as either four columns, you can have it as two columns. So if you swipe down, you only have the two. And then if you don't want the recent apps, you can actually turn it off. So you can see I'm only left with just one screen right here. So here's my one screen. But if you also want to show the recent apps, you just simply be able to turn it on. So to show off this top feature up here, let's say that you just want to swipe down. And then if you keep your finger on the screen, you can see that I can open up any application just by lifting off of the screen. So it's a pretty fun and quick way to open something up rather than letting go and then tapping again. So that is one way that you're open, able to open up several different applications. And then again, here is your recent app. So if you wanna switch back between all your recent apps, you'd be able to do it like that and it's fairly quick. Now for this next module, let's talk about Edge Lighting Plus. Now for Edge Lighting Plus, there is a newer feature. It's one that you're able to have a whole bunch of different icons pop up when you get a notification. So you're basically able to set a custom style. Now, if you go to set custom style, this is how you can have it look. You can have different effects. You can have water. You can have any of these things sitting right here. You can have hearts. Now, some of you may think that it's really overpowering the screen. Sometimes it does, but you can actually have it set to where it'll only do this if your screen is basically turned off. And you can also go inside of advanced. You can change the size of it. So if you want it to be small, medium, large, very small. You also have the period of how long it'll last. Here's the amount. If you want it to be, you know, few, if you want it to be many. So I have mine set up for few. I have it small, short, and rotation as weak because you're able to set up a different rotation and how you want them to look. So this one right over here is going to be several different sizes. So to show you exactly what it looks like is I will send myself a text message right now. 
And then what you're gonna see on the screen is the custom notification I set up. So I actually have it to where you'll see it on the very top and then all the little icons of the specific application will show all over the screen. And that's due to this option right here show app icon instead of custom style image. Sometimes when you have little notifications come through, it has a different image than what the actual application icon looks like. This is where you can actually use that exact icon. So right here, it just states double tap the brief pop-up notification to view the notification. Now module number three that we'll cover will be quick star. So this is where you can actually change your quick panel user interface. So there is a few different things you can do on the very top, like you can style your own, but the two that I wanna cover in this one will be these two little areas. This first one is that you can change the quick settings button grid. So originally with Samsung One UI 6, there's basically a four by three. So you can actually go inside and you can make it to where there's gonna be less space in between the applications. So now it's actually a five by three. So this way you have more of your settings shown on the first main page, rather than having three or four pages, you can have it set up to two, and then you're able to find more applications a little bit quicker. And then the next thing will be on the very, very top. You know, where do you want it to be where if you swipe down, it goes inside of the quick view right away. So originally it was way over here on the right hand side. It was pretty small. If I was to make it larger like this, anywhere over here, it's gonna fully expand my entire notifications panel. And then if I was to swipe over on the left hand side, what this will do is gonna be the normal notification screen with small amount of your quick settings. Pull down one more time, then you have the full. Now, if you want the full to come down much easier, you're able to move it where you want it on the screen for that to activate. Now, for me, I don't have to have it all the way over there. I just remember that if I do it over my percentage of my battery life, then I know it's going to pop up. If I go just left of that, then it's not going to do it. I just wanna, sometimes I just wanna see my notification real quick or change one of these really fast. I don't need to have the whole entire thing, but I know if I want the full entire thing, I just have to go right over the battery percentage. Module number four is one that I never really play with because I like my navigation to be the regular gestures. I don't like to have the navigation bar, but I have to bring this up because now it's finally plugged into where this module actually finally works on Samsung One UI 6. Ever since Samsung One UI 6 has been launched, which has been for quite a few months now, this one has been completely unplugged. You weren't really able to even update it. Even if there was an update, it still wouldn't even work. And now they plugged it into where if you want to do any of your little swipe gesture things, if you want to set up buttons on the bottom, fully customize it, now you can. So the Navstar is finally plugged in. It does finally work, which again is letting all of us know that Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14 will be fully officially launched very, very soon, especially for the Galaxy S23 series devices during the month of October between now and Halloween. Now, the last module that we'll cover in today's video will be Sound Assistant, and this is where you can actually go inside of here. You can fully customize your own volume panel setup. It's called Flex Volume UI. If you don't want to use this, you can turn it off. There is no big deal. It'll go right back to where it was from before. But if you turn it on, you're going to have a much cooler experience. You can fully customize it however you want it to look. If you want it to set up, you know, with a bar, you have all these different lighting effect options, whichever one, you know, floats your boat. I chose one that wasn't so crazy colored of, of an option and all that little flashy. You can choose acrylic or mesh. And then you also have a completely different type that is called knob. But first, if we leave it as bar, you can see all these different shapes. If you want it to be fatter, skinnier, smaller, super skinny, big and fat, kind of like a square circle right there or a square with rounded corners. If you do a knob, then this is where you can see all the different knob options for colors. It kind of reminds me of Milk Music back in the day. Uh, here's your different textures. And then also your shape is only gonna be two different sizes. What this one looks like over here will be this right here. You can just kind of move it around, play with the UI. Tap here if you want it to be vibrate or sound mode. Tap those three little icons and it brings you right back to your sound bar panel right here for basically the settings, notifications, media, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna move this one back to what I was using, which was bar. 
I chose the second area here, the very first one. And so this is the one that I'm gonna keep at, but this is really fun that you're able to play with right here in terms of sound assistant. Now, another thing you can do is also the change step volume. This is a, a, a little topic that I've talked about all the time. The way that Samsung has it set up is it used to be by 10. So this is like, you know, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. It's a big move, a big jump. If you wanna be more precise, for me, I went by fives. And so this way, every single time you press the button, it goes up by five rather than 10. So maybe instead of the volume being at 10, maybe you want it to be down at five. Maybe you want the volume to go all the way down to level three because you don't want to wake somebody up next to you if they're sleeping. So yeah, you can actually change the intervals of the click of the volume rocker. So that was everything I want to cover in today's video. I know that I'm doing it a little early, but that is because there's a big update coming. And whenever that update comes, I want to talk about what is new then not as what was new then and also currently. So I wanted to cover everything that's been new within the last one week or two weeks or even today. But again, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. I will be coming back following up whenever this brand new uh, update of Good Luck comes within the next few days between now and Halloween. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.